Hey, welcome back. So let's go ahead and get our hands dirty. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Tomcat on Microsoft Windows. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to download Tomcat. So in my browser, I'm going to visit tomcat.apache.org. And so this will take me to the Tomcat website. Over on the left hand side is a download section where we can actually download some of the software. I'll move down to the section for binary distributions and I'll choose this 32-bit, 64-bit Windows Service Installer. So this is the normal MSI file. It'll install Tomcat as a Windows service. So I'll go ahead and select this link. And right now my browser will start downloading it to my file system. All right, great. So now we have it downloaded. Let's go ahead and open up a Windows Explorer. And I'm move, I'll move into this Downloads folder. And there's the file that was just downloaded, Apache Tomcat. So that's the actual installer. So let's go ahead and run this installer just by double clicking it. So this will start up the installer. I'll hit yes. And here I'm at the first step of the wizard. I'll go ahead and click next. Um, I'll agree. And then here we choose our components. Uh, for the components, I like to choose full just so I can get all the examples in the host manager. Again, a nice thing about this Tomcat installer is that it installs it as a service. So I'll make sure that the service thing is enabled or checked there. I'll go ahead and hit next. Uh, by default, Tomcat listens on port 8080. Uh, feel free to change that. But I like to keep the defaults. And then you can set up a um, administrator login. So for now, I'll just say admin admin. Again, you can give any username and password that you want. And then I'll hit next. Um, I'll accept the default installation here for my JRE. I'll hit next. And I'll also accept the default installation directory. You can feel free to change this, but I'll go ahead and keep the uh, default installation directory for Tomcat. And then I'll hit install. And so at this point, it'll go through the process of installing the software. And now it says, hey, we're, um, the software is installed. Um, I'll turn off the option to show the README. I'll hit finish. And now it'll actually start Tomcat as a Windows service. All right, great. So Tomcat is started. Let's go ahead and verify our installation. And we can verify it by viewing a website, localhost 8080. That's where our local Tomcat server is running right now. So if everything works out right, it should bring up this page that you see here. So let's say Apache Tomcat. And then also they even give you a message. If you're seeing this, you successfully installed Tomcat. Congratulations. So we know that we're okay. So Tomcat was installed successfully and Tomcat is up and running. So good job so far. Now I'm going to show you one other thing you can do is you can actually configure Tomcat. So you can just right click on the little Tomcat icon in the bottom right and say right click and hit configure. And this will bring up the configuration window for Tomcat. So you can change like the display name for the service. You could change the actual description. Uh, at the bottom it shows you the, the status if it's running or stopped. Uh, you can play around with some logging stuff. A lot of other things you can play around with. But for right now, I'll just go ahead and keep everything as the defaults. And I'll just hit cancel right now. Another nice thing is that you can actually administer Tomcat via the services control panel. So I'll go ahead and click on services here. It'll bring it up. And we'll see in the list. We have Apache Tomcat that's listed as a service and it's currently running. So just like any standard service, you can just right click, you can stop it, pause it, resume it, restart it. You can do all the normal things you can do with a service. What I'd like to do now is actually stop Tomcat because we're going to run it later via Eclipse. So I'll go ahead and stop this service. I'll just do a right click. I'll hit stop. And it'll go through the process of stopping the Tomcat server. So right now it's not running. But don't worry, later on we'll actually hook up Tomcat and Eclipse to run together. And we'll cover that in one of the following videos. Now we were successful. We were able to download Tomcat 
and install it, and then also go through the process of verifying our installation. And then finally, we went around and took a look at some of the configs and also looked at the uh, services control panel. So good job so far.